fear not the future. Uh, the Word of God says in Psalms 23, 4, a very familiar scripture, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Dearly beloved, you and I can walk in this life in the comfort of the Lord. David is establishing that fact. David, at one time, I believe, walked in fear. I believe he ran in fear uh, due to the many uh, 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 calamities that had uh, been a part of his life. But then, beloved, I believe that he had come to a point where he was believing God. And that's what you and I have to do in this life today. There are so many things that are out there that can make us fear our very future. To look out there and to wonder what will happen to us tomorrow. The Word of God tells us to take no thought of tomorrow, but rather to seek the kingdom of God. And I believe that the more our focus is on the kingdom of God, the less we will have fear uh, in our hearts. Because fear is not part of the anatomy of a believer. It is something that is put there, I believe, by the enemy himself. You and I, uh, when the Word of God says that perfect love casts out all fear. So that means that a believer ought not have any fear at all in their very lives. The Word of God says that we are bold as lions because of what we believe and what we trust. We know that this is not our home. We realize that this is not the place for our eternity as the earth is right now. And so we are looking for a home that is not made with hands, but rather made by God. And that itself can take away the stigma of fear. But look what David did. Look how he made up his mind. Just as you and I will have to make up our mind today not to walk in fear. David said, I see the conditions that are out there. There is fear all around me when he writes, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? The shadow of death is all around me. Death is my neighbor. Debt is right there amongst my friend, amongst my family. It is all encompassing. It is all around me. But what David was establishing is that it is around me, but I'm no longer going to allow it to be in me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Dearly beloved, we need to get to that point where we can see fear around us, but we will no longer allow fear to be in us. And David established the fact, he said, I'm walking around it all the time. It is constantly around me. He said, I will fear no evil. The evil that is happening around me, it will not come into my camp. My God will keep me just as he kept the children of Israel in the land of Goshen when the plagues of God came against the land of Egypt, the land of Goshen, the land where God had put his people was not touched at all by the plagues that was falling on Egypt and neither should it fall upon you. Dearly beloved, that is a promise to you from our God. Now, the Word of God says, For thou art with me. Hallelujah. Look what he was establishing. He was establishing, How can I be fearful? How can I be doubtful? How can I not be filled with courage when I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are with me? Those who walk in fear establishes this fact that they do not believe that God is with them.
As simple as that. When you're walking in fear, you're establishing a mindset that God is away in some distant uh, universe and that, it is, that He is not with you. But well, dearly beloved, He is with you. He is living in you by His Holy and Divine Spirit. That's how close he is with you. And David was remembering this. David was remembering the fact that God is with me. And he says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I am comforted because I know that your rod and your staff will lead me where I ought to be led. Dearly beloved, fear not your future any longer. Stand up and say, I will not fear. I will no longer fear. I will no longer let fear incubate in my heart. I am encouraged and I take courage in my Father. Dearly beloved, fear not the future, but rather look forward to it with a blessed heart and an open spirit to what God wants to do to you, for you, and through you. The Lord bless you of this day.